Hi, this is Larry Jordan. This is an excerpt of a recent PowerUp webinar covering video compression with Adobe Media Encoder CS6. In this excerpt, we look at preference settings, how to turn chiming on and off, how to set a default destination, and other preference settings. The chime drives me nuts because the computer's in the same room as I am, and I don't want to have it just be chiming away. I want to have it just get its work done. Can I turn the chime off? <laughs> The answer is yes, or I would never have brought it up. The answer is yes. And the other thing is, I don't want to have to set the destination of the file on a case-by-case -case basis. I want to do it globally. Here's how. Go up to Adobe Media Encoder. Go down to Preferences. In the General tab, notice this choice here. It says Play Chime when finished encoding. If you don't want it singing to you, uncheck it. And when it's done encoding, it'll just simply stop. It doesn't ring any bells. The other is, notice this choice down here. This is off by default. You want to turn it on and say, I want my output file destination to always be the same. Click the Browse button, go to the drive that you want to have the file stored on, and I created this compressed files folder. With that folder selected, click Choose, and now all of my compressed files will automatically be assigned to that folder. Now, this works great when you have all your files going to one spot, but if you're creating multiple versions, like with a watch folder, you can create multiple destination files, but you can only have one file set in the preferences. I like this feature a lot because I never have to worry about where my compressed files are going to go. We have other choices like appearance, which determines how bright or dark the background is. We have media files where media cache is stored. This mirrors the media cache that you set in Premiere. My recommendation is just leave it alone. Metadata, all these choices are just ducky. Memory, it remembers how much stuff you're using in terms of RAM and assigned space. The only setting I really mess with is general. The rest of the default settings are fine. This has been an excerpt of a recent PowerUp webinar on video compression using Adobe Media Encoder CS6. For the complete version of this online training, please visit our store at larryjordan.biz store and look for Webinar 75.